Pinoy Bix. Welcome guys to Pinoy Bix Channel. So, mayroon tayong solve ngayon. So, hanapin lang natin kung nasaan. Our problem for today is, if the distance between points, ito yung coordinate ng points, 3 and y, and the second point is 8 and 7, is 13. Then y is equal to, letter A, 5 or negative 5, letter B, 5 or 19, letter C, 19, letter D, 5 or 19. Okay, so without further ado, let's solve this problem. Okay, for the solution, so para nas, mas, mas lalo natin itong ma, ma-visualize, so maglalagay tayo ng Cartesian plane o yung tinatawag nating rectangular coordinate system. Ayan. Okay, meron na tayong uh, Cartesian plane. Yan unang step. Second step natin is uh, plot natin yung points. For points 3 and y or the first point natin, so lagay natin dito. So, we have 1, 2, 3. Okay, ito yung, uh, yung x niya is 3. x equivalent to 3. Then, ang y niya is, di pa natin alam. Pwede natin nasa negative y-axis or sa positive y-axis. Sa posi uh, positive y-axis. So, okay? So, hindi natin alam yung ating uh, y. So, next point is, uh, 8 in 7 o yung having coordinates na 8 in 7 so we have ang value ng uh, x nya is 8 so 1, 2, 3 we have 4 5 6 7 8 then value ng y is 1, 2, 3 4, 5 6, 7 so possible lang ating uh, uh, estimate natin is nandito yun yun yung value ng value ng at, uh, yun yung points ng uh, point B, having a coordinate na point A, so hindi pa natin alam yung exactong location. Ang alam lang natin yung coordinate ng X, yung Y wala. Point B, eto siya. Ito yung point niya. Okay, next is kanyang uh, distance between the two points is D is equivalent to 13. So yun yung mga known na values. Ang wala tayo is yung y. So yun yung hanapin natin. So paano ba to? So since ito ay uh, distance formula. So from the distance formula. Okay. So ang ating distance formula. So equivalent to the d or the distance. Equivalent to the square root. So tandaan nyo to guys. Napaka importante to. Kapag ang problem ay distance formula. Pag di tayo ma dito. So we have x sub 2. So, ibig sabihin yung final value ng x minus the initial value ng x, then square, then plus the final value ng y or y sub 2 minus the initial y sub 1. Base doon sa given, mayroon tayong value ng distance. So, we have 13 it's equivalent to the square root of ang x sub 2 natin to 8, diba? So, we have 8. So, minus yung initial 3, yung point o yung coordinate ng point A ng x is 3 square. So, plus ang y sub 2. So, we have 7. Then, at the unknown minus y sub 1. Y ng first point. Then, ang goal natin dito sa ating equation is to remove. Ayan. Remove the square root sign o yung radical sign. Matatanggal natin yan kapag in-square natin both sides. Kapag in-square natin both sides, matatanggal yung ating niya radical sign o yung square root sign so ang matitira so we have 13 squared so we have 169 then so 8 minus 3 so we have 5 square then this one so, so we have this the quadratic so square uh, using the formula for the quad quadratic so we have square the first term so we have 49 minus twice the product so we have this minus yan, so we have 14 y then uh, square the last term so we have plus y squared, plus y, okay, so yan na guys, so simplify, simplify natin yung right e uh, equation, so we have 25, so plus, ilan to, we have 49, minus 14y, plus y squared, so equivalent to y squared, then minus 14y sub 1, then plus, tama ba guys, 74, yan, then next, equate, 
this equation to 0 by transferring the, the values 169 to the right. So 0 equivalent to y sub 1 squared minus 14y sub 1. Then, so we have minus, so my, okay, 9 minus 4, 5, 16, 7, so we have 9. So, 95. Then, ang result natin, so we have quadratic equation. So, we need to find the roots by simply, so actually, marami naman way. So, ang pinaka madali, so we have by factoring. Tingin ko, sakto naman siya. So, we have the factor for this term or this quadratic equation. So, we have y minus 19. y minus 19 and y okay, plus 5. So, 19 times, 19, ta 19 times 5. So, we have 95. Okay? Ne negative 19 plus 5. So, negative 14. So, tama na yan. So, the value for the root. So, mayroon tayong root 2. Root 1, so equivalent to y sub 1, so equivalent to 9. And root number 2, so equivalent to y sub 1, so equivalent to negative 5. So, mayroon tayong dalawang value ng oh, y sub 1. From the choices, ano ba yung ating sagot dito? From the choices, so ang tamang sagot, so we have letter D, negative 5 or 19. Okay, let's check kung tama yung ating uh, sagot. Okay, for the first uh, value, for the first value y, y sub 1 is equivalent to, from the distance formula, so we have 13 is equivalent to square root of uh, x sub 2, we have 8, so we have, so 8 minus 3, yan, 8 minus 3, squared plus y sub, uh, we have 7 minus 19 squared, equivalent to, so 8 minus 3, 8 minus 3, so 5, so we have 5 squared, so we have 25, then plus uh, 7 minus 19, 12. 12 squared, so we have 140, 144. Then, uh, equivalent to square root of 169. So, 169, square root of 169 is equivalent to 13. So, check yan. Okay, for the second, okay, for the second root, it's equivalent to negative 5. So, we have thir is 13 equivalent square root of 8 minus 3 squared plus 5. So, we have 7 minus 5. So, plus 5. Equivalent to 8 minus 12, 25. Plus 7 plus, uh, plus 5 is so 12. Squared, so, equivalent to 144. Then, square root. Equivalent to square root of 169. And, therefore, that's equivalent to 13. Okay. Sagot natin is, again, ito. Letter D. Negative 5 or 19. Kung may mga questions kayo, guys, so... Ilagay nyo na lang sa comment section. And for to those na hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, so please subscribe to my channel. And see you on my next video.